I've been looking in this bag and I also have Letterman with a bunch of screwdrivers, computer stuff for hooking up monitors and like a USB or a, a HDMI cable, clothespins in case I need to hang something in the forest, a backup backup gun cleaning kit because this is my tiny back gun cleaning kit but then in my other bag I have a gun cleaning kit and then I also have a big gun cleaning kit and then um, hand warmers but you know I, I've been thinking about it and what is this going to do to the United States economy right now? Well, we're going to stop consuming as many resources. So that's going to put less stress on us from an international trade perspective, potentially. But then people are not going to get as much of our stuff. But let's face it, have people already kind of stopped buying as much cotton from us? But we have cotton here. So um, do you really need to stock up on socks if you're like an American? Um, I, I like having socks in my go bag. Um I do have, I have a whole thing, I have, I have socks wrapped in duct tape, but those, that's in my car right now, because a lot of things from my go bag have been with me, um, because I did go, and, um, I left for a while, um, probably not, okay, but from, from an, like, can our economy survive the coronavirus perspective, um, let's think about this, well, everyone is short, and they just lost a ton of money today, if they end up selling, but they're counting on tomorrow being hell day on the market. But um, it sure seems like some investors have been fighting back, and that's why the markets have been so up and down instead of straight down. Um, so, um, like I said, I think I think it's it's best for us to take all that money from those short people. Which who who are the people that are short? Hedge fund people, stock stockbroker people. So, are we going to hurt people in the finance industry massively? Yes, but um, does it really matter if we hurt them? Maybe because a lot of them finance stuff, but um, those people are making bets against, like who, who gives out the short bets? A lot of the time, it's banks um, that are that are loan that are um, that do these do these bets. All right, so um, but is it irrational to take a ton of toilet paper? Well, what is the number one industry that the United States has that other countries don't have? Like Canada has it too, timber. So the paper industry, we're in pretty good shape there. Um, we've got a ton of these things, which every time you recycle, don't you put this in a put the cardboard in a in a box? Can't you turn cardboard into toilet paper? Yes. So um, I think as far as toilet paper goes, rationally, I think it's kind of crazy to stockpile toilet paper. But I feel like a lot of people are going, how in the world can our economy survive? this situation and I feel like the short short winners short sellers are gonna win no matter what and I'm a small investor and I want to stay out because my money doesn't matter that much which maybe your money really doesn't matter that much it really depends on how much money you have probably your money doesn't matter that much if you're a small investor um, but if you're in the millions your money still probably doesn't matter that much but it matters a little bit but um, okay but really like I've said in the past the big corporations have no problem surviving it's it's the it's the small corporations that are going to have trouble, and so that's when um, we have to ask ourselves: Is Donald Trump ready to be a socialist? <laughs> Does Donald Trump want to be a socialist? You want to be be actually that serious about shutting down businesses and subsidizing them? Because yes, right now our the dollar just took a hit. I don't know if you guys heard about it because the Fed is trying to do quantitative easing and they're 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 putting rates at zero percent and they're um, putting tons of money into um, these intermediary banks that um, do short-term lending in, in, into the reboot market. Um, and so um, the Fed is doing everything it can, but the Fed can't do anything. And that's like the reality of the Fed, that everyone's like, oh, the Fed, the Fed is the stock market. No, the Fed is not the stock market. Um, the Fed basically, um, how, how far can the Fed go as far as um, protecting collateral a little bit, but at some point it does have a value, but that, that is why, um, the dollar has been losing. Um, but has the dollar lost that much? And is it okay for an American if the dollar loses a lot? Probably it's fine. Um, as long as you're, you're, you're like, would you rather have the dollar lose in the international trade? Um, that, and, and then have your stock stay the same? Probably. 
Um, because let's face it, um, can we like do we have cotton in the United States? Massive producer of raw cotton. Um, do we like so clothes? We're set. Uh, we can make our own clothes if we have to. Um, do we have food in the United States? Very self-sustaining on food. If there's any country in the world that's self-sustaining on food, it's the United States. We export food. Um, probably Ukraine is the second most sustaining um, country on food. But a lot of countries in Africa are, are sustaining on food, and they're the ones that are the real concern because um, of access to medicine in the event of, an, of like needing ventilators and stuff like that. All right, so the question is that I'm trying to trying to put out there, which are we in a recession right now? Yes. Like we've already dropped twenty percent. We're, we're in a recession. That's a bear market. And uh, but um, can a recession be a functional recession as long as we are prioritizing um, what matters for our country while we're dealing with the coronavirus? Yeah, we can have a very functional recession. I mean, granted, like, n we don't need these things. Our, our water treatment f facilities are going to stay fine. Um, we don't need all the, I don't, I don't, I don't need all this crap. This was my, this is my, um, World War III bag, which, uh, that's why I have it. It's like, natural disaster bag. It's a, um, I just killed someone. I don't know how I killed him. What have I done? No, not, that's not, it, I guess it is that bag, but it's not because I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I would not run. Um, it's my... Uh, I have road atlases. It's my road atlas bag. Because I don't want to depend on the internet. <laughs> it's the same thing with... I will make the internet with the amount of books. That's why I want to stay home. If if like, if, 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 this, if this all happens, if, if the world comes to an end, I'd rather be based out of my house in Colorado where I have... I know where the water... I know what the water's like. Uh, the weather's not at that bad. And... I, I have my books on computers so I can go design my own computer network because <laughs> I don't need the internet. I'll create the internet based on my books. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, all I'm saying is the United States government's going to have to start acting like socialists, like no matter how conservative Trump is, like his tax cuts aren't going to, aren't going to handle it. Like the fed can't do anything. It, you're going to need Congress and you're going to need Congress to be radical this is an, and and yes, it will cause the dollar to take a hit, but that's fine. Um, should you go fill up your tank with gas? It's not going to hurt to have a full tank of gas. I filled up my dad's tank of, of gas, and that car stays parked all the time. I was like, well, why not have an extra tank of gas around? Um, and that's like, but um, and that would help the oil industry also. But it would also it's it's being prepared in case the end of the world. But I feel like that. Is a stimulus like a lot of things? A lot of people are doing things that are good for the economy because of the coronavirus, and that's why I, I really, I mean, I know we're in a recession, but the question is, but I really don't think that our banks have to fail. 